Hi guys, Dan Moran here from Concierge Diamonds. People ask me quite commonly, how do I take care of my jewelry once I get it? I've just got a beautiful fine diamond ring or other piece of diamond jewelry. Now what? How do I keep it uh, in the condition it's in the day I got it? So there are a few things that I always recommend. The first thing is you should get insurance uh, because you're gonna be wearing this piece of jewelry everywhere you go and it would be a shame if it were to get lost, stolen, damaged, and you were left without recourse. The right way to get insurance for your diamond jewelry is to add it to your homeowner's or your renter's insurance. So whoever does that for you should be able to add your jewelry, no problem, as long as you have an appraisal. Of course, everything that I make comes with an appraisal, so you submit that to your insurance and you should have no trouble adding it. Expect to pay about 2% per year for your insurance, so if your appraised value is $10,000, expect to pay $200 a year. If it's much more than that, you're being overcharged and it's time to shop for new insurance. Uh, that being said, if you have a very expensive piece of jewelry, let's say over $100,000 in total value of jewelry in your home, you might be better off going to a jewelry insurance specialist. I know a few of those, I'm happy to refer them for anybody who wants. So how do we keep it looking clean and sparkly and shiny like it was the day you got it? So the first concern is keeping it away from grease. Diamonds have a very, very high natural affinity for anything greasy, oily, and that will tend to stick to diamonds. So what I recommend you do is take your ring off when you're putting your lotion or your makeup on during the day. When you're doing the dishes, take it off and put it next to the sink. Don't wear it and get all the, all the gunk from your food on it. Take it off when you're going to work out. If you really want to have your ring on you at all times when you're a gym rat, uh, I recommend you get a, a, a gold chain. You can hang your ring around your chain and wear it at the gym that way, but not on your hand. And other things like that. Try, try to avoid situations where it's going to get gunked up. What if it does get gunked up? There's a really easy uh, home cleaning solution that works very, very well. Costs you nothing and it's easy to do. Here's what I want you to do. If you've got a ring and it's looking dull, looking dingy, dirty, and you want to clean it up, take a small pot of water, whatever you have, little pot of water, uh, put a squirt of dish soap in it, whatever you have by the sink, palm olive or whatever, in there, boil it. Get it good and hard boiling, rolling boil. Now take your diamond jewelry, this is for diamond jewelry, not for soft stone jewelry, no appetites, no tourmalines, no pearls, nothing like that. But for diamonds, gold, platinum, this will work great. Take your jewelry, put it in a strainer, put that strainer in the soapy boiling water. You don't want it on the bottom of the pot. You want it where the bubbles are gonna hit it, in that boiling water. Leave it in there for a few minutes, five minutes. Now you can leave it as long as you like, you're not gonna hurt the ring. Uh, once that's done, take it out of the boiling water, rinse it off in cool water, take a toothbrush to it if you want to, and it should look good as new. Now you can do that as often as you'd like, for as long as you'd like. You won't damage the ring, it's super easy. Storing your jewelry. What I want you to keep to consider when you're storing your diamond jewelry is that you've, I'm sure, heard the old uh, truage that the only thing that'll scratch a diamond is another diamond. So don't store your diamond jewelry pieces one next to the other. That little motion will cause scratches and chips in your stones. Doubly so if you store your diamonds next to a piece of soft stone jewelry like pearls or, or you know, uh, or topaz or what have you. You will absolutely scratch the bejesus out of your colored stones storing them next to diamonds. Don't do that. Keep a distance, separate pouches or separate bags. Make sure those pieces can't touch each other when you store them, especially if you're packing stuff for travel and it might be moving around. That's a very, very common way that jewelry gets damaged. So make sure you protect your pieces of jewelry from each other. Uh, I've seen people try to do weird stuff where they treat jewelry with chemicals to try to make it shiny and look clean and look nice. Don't do that. Clean it with hot soapy water. And if you need a more thorough cleaning than that, schedule a cleaning with your jeweler. Come and see me once a year, twice a year, as often as you feel that it needs it. I'll give the jewelry a professional cleaning and I'll inspect all your stones to make sure nothing's loose, nothing's chipped, nothing needs to be repaired, replaced, or touched up. Uh, I think it's important that you plan to do regular maintenance for your fine diamond jewelry. After all, if you buy a nice car, you're gonna go change the oil every few months or once a year or as often as it needs it. The same should, should be true for a piece of fine jewelry, for a fine watch. Make sure it gets the care that it deserves so that it can keep performing the way it did when you got it new for many, many, many years to come. Uh, that's really all there is to it in terms of keeping your jewelry nice and clean. So to review, ensure it immediately, clean it regularly, and have it inspected by a jeweler at least once a year. I'm happy to do that. Anything that comes from me, I don't charge you to do that. It's my pleasure. I like to see it and make sure that everything that I make looked the way I intended it to look when I made it. I hope this helps. Any questions, always be in touch with us on Facebook, on Reddit, by email, by phone. Use a carrier pigeon, send a smoke signal. I'm easy to find. Just be in touch. Thanks.